The LMP2 race was a big challenge for us. Um, after what happened in qualifying, uh, we had one lap time deleted for track limit and uh, we could not finish the second lap time because of the red flag. So in the end, we ended up with no lap time. Um, that means we had to start from the back of the grid for the ELMS race and we had to start with Ife. As he was our fastest driver in uh, free practice, he had to start the race by rules. So here we are starting on 40 positions. So it was very challenging for Ife at the beginning, the first uh, opening stint, because he, has to, he had to go all the way through the traffic, like GT cars, LMP3s, and now the field is, is big. I mean, 42 cars, it's a lot to, to overtake, but uh, he did amazing, he did really good. In the same time, we could save a little bit of fuel, so we ended up being a bit longer in fuel uh, compared to the other um, competitors. And then luckily uh, we had a couple of safety cars who could bring us back to the, to the, um, to the, to the field. And, um, and in the end, if he had nice overtaking and he went up to the second position, which was amazing starting from where he started. And then it was Niklas uh, to get in the car. Um, so Niklas was against most of the driver were gold or platinum driver at the time he was in the car. Um, but he did really good, uh, he was fighting really hard, uh, he had two good and competitive stint. But unfortunately, by the end of his second stint, we had a tire puncture on the front left. So we had to abort the end of this stint and um, the strategy, we had to shorten a bit his, his stint. And then I jumped in the car. Um, I think we were back to P6 and then we could go back to, to P3. A nice overtaking, the car was working really good, uh, we had a very good pace. Um, but unfortunately, when we pitted for the last stint, we decided for safety to change the front left tires again. Uh, because we had this issue in the middle of the race, we thought it was going to be more safe to change the front left tire. And we lost a few track position at, at this moment. Uh, we bring back to, to P7. Um, so then we could overtake two more cars before the end of the race, uh, finishing P5 which uh, was quite uh, good, amazing, ma'am, uh, because we started from, from very far. But in, in, an, in another way, it was a bit disappointing because at one point we were P2 and we were hoping for at least getting a, a podium for this race. But the puncture didn't really help us uh, affect our, our, our final result. And um, in the end, we have to take this P5, which is still good for the championship. I mean, it's strong points, not as much as we wanted, but it's good and we know we have a good potential for the, for the next races. On the LMP3 race, it was much uh, smoother with a very good start from Maurice Smith. It's his first ENMS race and he was leading the field for quite a long time. He did a very good job out there. Then he handed up the car to Mike Benham, which had a very strong stint as well. I mean, our two gentlemen drivers, they did a, a good job out there. And then we put Malti uh, in the car. Malti had uh, an amazing uh, two hours. I mean, he was very strong during the whole weekend, setting up the pole position, the fastest lap of the race. And uh, he had an amazing stint. He started like almost a minute behind the leader and he ended up overtaking the, them uh, two laps before the end. So that was a great race from him and a nice uh, first victory for the LMP3 crew. Overall, we were very pleased that uh, all the cars they were running in the front in almost every session. So that was a good sign for us, even though um, we only came back with one podium, which was uh, not enough. But uh, in the end, we are very uh, pleased with the overall performance of the car. And this is giving us good confidence for the, for the rest of the year.